Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to use your QSONO D8 wireless ultrasound system with your iPad or your iPhone. So the first thing to do is to turn on your ultrasound machine. So to do that, you've got a little power on button just here. Just hold that down for about two or three seconds until you see the little blue light start to flash. That'll take about 30 seconds then to power up fully and to start to send out the Wi-Fi signal, which you can use to connect to your uh, device, tablet, phone, whatever it is. The next thing to do is to make sure you've got this app on your tablet and you can go to the App Store and download the Sono IQ app, which is free. You just search Sono IQ, that's S-O-N-O-I-Q. And once you have it, just open it up there and you'll see this uh, application on your tablet. So across the top, you've got some various um, indicators that tell you things like the battery life that'll let you connect it to the Wi-Fi signal. Uh, you have a menu down the left-hand side and some options for freezing and saving the image right down the bottom here. So I think it's been about 30 seconds now. So if we hit the Wi-Fi here and go to our Wi-Fi settings, we can see that we've got D497 to connect to. And that is the same as the letters and the numbers that are on my ultrasound machine. So I'm going to go ahead and touch that. And if it asks me for a password, the password is 12345678. But because I've connected this before, it's not going to do that. It's remembered me. Now double tap the home button and you can open up the app. And what you'll see now is we've got our Wi-Fi signal up there and we're ready to start imaging. So on the left hand side of the screen, you've got all of your image optimization menus. So you've got things like the TGC sliders, which you can adjust using your um, touch screen. You've got the depth, which you can adjust just by sliding your finger, either right or left. And you've got other things like gain, frequency, expand mode, dynamic range, etc, etc. And you just keep sliding down and you'll see all these different image optimization parameters. On the black and white version, you've got two different modes to choose from. You've got normal B mode, which is what we're in at the moment. And you've also got M mode. So you can get to M mode just by sliding those mode keys um, at the top of the screen, just to the left or right. Wait a second or two and it'll end up in that uh, next mode that you've selected. Now if your unit has color Doppler mode uh, on it, you can access color Doppler just by sliding across to the C. When you hit that, uh, you will bring up a little sampling box which will be able to sample the color region. You can adjust the box by using your fingers to pinch and um, either increase the uh, depth or the width. And just using one finger, you can change the position of that sampling box. You've also got power Doppler as well, which is the P, and pulse wave Doppler. So for pulse wave Doppler, if you slide that across, you'll get a little green sampling line here, and you can just adjust that using your finger again. Um, similar to the um, B menu, you've also got all your Doppler optimizations here. So for example, if we wanted to change the size of the sampling gate, we can do that just by sliding across with the fingers there. And once you're happy with the position of the sampling gate, all you do is you hit update and it'll start to um, sample the pulse wave data. And when you finish, you can hit update again to exit the mode. To get back to normal B mode imaging, just slide the um, slider back across to B. So now that you've done that, if you've got an image that you want to uh, save or measure, all you have to do if you want to save the image first of all is just hit this little button here and it'll save it to the camera roll. The first time you do that, you might get a question mark from your iPad or your iPhone saying, um, do you want to allow this app to save things to your camera roll? So you just click yes. So this little button down the bottom here will allow us to freeze the image. So if we tap that one, it should bring up a, a separate set of menus which will then allow us to either save the cine loop or save the image, which, uh, which you can use either of these two things for. So for saving the cine, here it is. It's just asking us, do we want to allow the um, app to do this? And we're going to have two options. You can either record the screen or you can record the screen and your voice so you can dictate something to the um, ultrasound. So I'm going to just choose record screen only. It gives me this little uh, box saying that it's all done and I'm just going to hit save there to send that to my camera roll. So if we want to do a measurement or a comment, we also have to freeze the image. So we can do that either by pressing the freeze button. The other thing that you can do is you can use your um, ultrasound machine itself as well. So if you're not able to reach the device, 
All you have to do is press uh, once the power on off button and that'll freeze it and bring up our menu. Um, and you can also use these buttons here to select um, from the various menus as well. So um, now that we're up here, if I want to do a measurement, I'm just going to hit measure. It'll bring up some options here for me. We've got things like um, distance. You can just use your finger to go through that. We've got angle, um, we've got area. Now it's a little bit more scaled down on the um, mobile devices like Android and iOS that we have here compared to the Windows software. So in the Windows software, you have a lot more measurement options, um, but here we've just got those three. So we've got distance, angle, and area. So if we wanted to, I mean, if you're doing something like obstetrics still, you could use area, and all you do is you touch uh, the first spot, double tap, and then use your finger to bring out the sphere here, double tap again, and then you can adjust the other parameters. So what it's gonna do for you there is it's gonna give you the perimeter, which is the circumference, um, and it's also gonna give you the area as well. So you can use the perimeter for things like um, abdominal circumference or head circumference as an example. Um, if you wanted a diameter, you can just use a distance. So the way that you do the measurement is you put your cursor wherever you want, you double tap, and then, or you can use your finger to move it around as well. And then you double tap when you're happy with where it is, slide your finger to the next spot. Again, you can use your finger and just move it around if you're not 100% happy with where uh, that next measurement is going. And then double tap again and you'll get both of those measurements. If you want to clear the last one, you hit clear. If you want to clear all of them, you hit empty. If you want to add a comment, there's a section here for adding a comment. Now there's no section on this, uh, on the scaled down mobile versions to add patient details. So if you wanted to save this into a patient file and you want to be able to remember who it was for later, this is one way you can do it. So I can put my name in here as an example and then I can press enter. We'll have the name here. We can just drag that down into the bottom of the screen and I can hit save image and that image is going to save with my details on there. Or of course you can make a comment of whatever it is that you're looking at. Um, on there and to get out of this menu once again you can hit clear you can hit ed exit and then you just unfreeze so apart from just using the touch screen to control the d8 unit you can also use the buttons that come with the unit itself so for example if i was to just want to get to the menus here i can use these little buttons um, on the side of the machine the up down arrows to select different parts of the b menu and then i can just use the plus or minus arrows to change whatever it is, um, whatever parameter it is that I want to change. And as we already talked about, we can use the on off button, just touching it once um, to freeze the image as well. So if you ever need to restart or uh, reconnect, disconnect, whatever it is with the device and the app, the best thing to do is just to turn off the uh, ultrasound itself so that the iPad isn't trying to connect to anything, double tap the home screen and then just slide it away. And I recommend turning off the ultrasound and uh, shutting down the app when you're not using it, especially if it's going to be a long time between patients um, because the iPad can start to go to sleep or the ultrasound machine can start to go to sleep. And then next time uh, you want to use it, they have troubles connecting to each other again. So best thing to do, switch off the device when you're not using it, switch off the iPad um, and just put them away because it only takes 30 seconds to boot it up again the next time you want to use the device.